Hey everyone, this is Kathy Hobble, <laughs> seven time national judo champion, uh, world masters champion, <laughs> talking about Kathy Katami. Take it away. Sorry, I couldn't resist. You were just there. So I like Kazakatami or scarf hold from judo in jiu-jitsu because you can apply a lot of pressure. Now, you pull this arm up as tight as you possibly can into your own armpit here so it's trapped, like you're putting on your seatbelt. So this is key, getting this arm pulled up into your own armpit and tightened. This is key to this pin or else if his elbow gets out to the mat, he's getting out. He's easily shrimping out. So key is getting this as tight as possible across your body, putting on your seatbelt here, and keep this hand here floating. If you just strap his head like this, like a typical Kezagatami, he just has to bridge his head back, and I'm going over. And back again. So I always teach my white belts right from the beginning, keep this floating. So when he goes to pump, you can post and back in. When he goes to come in, clamp it and back out. You post. So this is floating at all times. So also the position is a hurdle position with your legs here. Not up like this because he can just trap my leg. And now the hold down's broken if this was a judo match. Or in jiu-jitsu, now they're in a position to take my back. So pretend there's a nail and you've punctured your kneecap right through to the mat and nail that knee into the mat. Now he can't get my back. I'm holding the seatbelt across my, my chest here and I'm keeping my floating hand. And this one's as high as I can possibly go up towards his ear with the other one. How do you increase the pressure here? Like, how do you make it heavier for me? So what I like to do is get this really tight, push down my chest weight on your chest weight, right here. Do you feel like your face is squashed? It's getting there, yeah. Yep. Mm. Basically feels like my move. head and shoulders are nailed to the mat. Exactly. <clears throat> There's a lot of versions of the scarf hold. There's ones where you grab your own thigh here, pillow kezakatami this is called. I don't like it because again, I can be tossed mm -hmm. the other direction. So I keep the floating hand here and keep all my weight down. And actually there's a nice arm bar from here. So this often I'll give a little bit of slack. Yeah, oh, he free. thinks he's out. So I grab this, shove it down, put a thigh over top, wrap his hand, this thigh is going up in the air, this thigh is going down to the mat, boom. There it is. You've used that in competition, haven't you? I have. I've tapped actually a few girls with that one. And it's kind of a fun one because not many people do Kezakatami in Jiu Jitsu, but it's an effective pin if you do it tight. And I call it old school Judo Goonness. But <laughs> Judo Goon is actually handy sometimes in Jiu Jitsu. Put all your chest weight down on her chest weight, just like that. So I'm trying to escape and his arm? This, this escapes, boom. There it is. Awesome. Okay. okay. Well, thank you so much. I think well, a lot of people shy away from that position because they're worried about their backs being taken. Yeah. But uh, if you do it right, you won't have your back taken. <laughs> yeah. And I can attest that you know it's a horrendous position to be caught in. Yeah. If the guy has worked on this pinning position, it's horrendous to be on the bottom of that. And you're lucky. Honestly, you're lucky to get away without tapping just to the chest pressure if the guy's big enough or strong enough. It just sucks all the air out of your chest and you can't breathe if you put enough pressure down. And judoka, we learned from the very beginning to put as much pressure on as possible because a hold down in judo for 20 seconds is a win. Right. You actually, air finish the match, you won. So we learn about pressure right from white belt and extreme pressure. We don't do a lot of flow in judo, but we learn the extreme pressure right away from white belt. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, and thank I'm going to be very, very careful here to uh, <laughs> avoid the second uh, sucker tackle. Sucker tackle. <laughs>